Hi, I'm Dane Hansen, Director of Product Marketing for Data Cloud at Google. I'm excited to welcome David Meyer, Senior Vice President of Product at Databricks. I'm joined also by my co-host today, Nicole McKenzie, who helps lead partner marketing for our Data Cloud group. David, it's great to have you here today. Thank you, Dane. It's great to join you for the Google Data Cloud Summit. Yes, welcome, David. I know the three of us have had the opportunity to watch the partnership grow since the beginning when we first launched, and it's amazing to see where we're at today. Absolutely. Databricks is one of the most exciting data and AI companies right now. And David, you've been at Databricks for nearly five years, and we've been working together on Databricks since the launch on Google Cloud just a little over a year ago. Let's start with some of your recent observations about why there is so much interest in Databricks on Google Cloud. Yeah, absolutely, Dane. So, you know, I think Google's always been known for its technology. And Google Cloud has always been, you know, engineers have been drawn to working on Google Cloud because of the, the fundamental technology there. And similarly, Databricks is known for its technology and the technologists at Databricks. So there's a lot of, you know, shared cultural heritage there. So when Databricks was coming to Google Cloud, people were excited. Um, and customers have been asking for this, to be honest, for the five years I've been at Databricks. So, so there was a lot of anticipation. And then the ability to leverage this open source core capability to run all of your data and AI on these combined systems, well, customers want it, but they also need it to achieve their goals. So I think there's been a lot of interest. It's been a very exciting year. That's fantastic, David. And it has been a pleasure to work with you. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the integrations that Databricks has with Google Cloud. Can you share a little bit with us how Databricks and Google Cloud are partnering together? Yeah, so I talked about the, the data and AI coming together in this, in this open lake house and the, the, the open source uh, foundation of it. So customers are coming to this because they need to operate on all of their data as it's coming in and as it's, it's being modified and do the data science and machine learning directly on top of that. So Databricks operates on the, the Google Cloud that customers love and it makes the value in it higher. So basically when people are managing their data in, in Google Cloud storage, all of their data storage or in BigQuery and then, and then orchestrating it with Google uh, Kubernetes engine Databricks just runs on that infrastructure. So what you have in Google Cloud, we leverage that and we make it more powerful. And then the Google tools like uh, BigQuery, Vertex AI, and, and Looker for the different types of engineers to operate on that data, those all plug natively in. So you use the tools in Google BigQuery and, and, and Google Cloud, and then the Databricks lake house environment based on standards just layers on top of it and you can use it all together. And that's what customers love. Hey, I, I love this lake house approach, David. And I, I love that we're working together on connecting these open standards in such a way that gives more flexibility and extensibility to our customers. And it's great to see you're using our cool products like BigQuery and Vertex AI and Looker, and of course, running it on Kubernetes. So thanks for all that. But I think also we see so many of these integrations come to life with our customers. And through this partnership, I know we've been we've collaborated on a lot of these different partnerships. Now we're starting to see customers apply these in, in the real world. Do you have any examples you can share with us today on some of these cool examples? Absolutely. Let me let me first take a step back. So data and the AI that derives insights from it is the lifeblood of the modern company. Most companies, all industries are transforming themselves around data and AI. So let's take this, uh, we have a, a mutual customer, it's a Fortune 500 uh, logistics supply chain customer. So imagine running a supply chain in the last couple of years. It's bonkers, like COVID disrupted everything. There was all kinds of massive changes that affected your supply chain. So in the old world, you had kind of a data stack on one side and uh, AI stack on the other side. And you're preparing all of your data, munging all of your data, and you might get it cleaned and updated once a day. Okay, then you try to bring it over to the other side of the stack and, and get insights through machine learning and things like that. You can't do that anymore. You have to have real-time insights. So bringing this data and AI together into this lake house 
all sitting on top of, of GCS. All of the sensor data in the supply chain and the IoT data can land right in the lake. And the machine learning and AI can happen right on the lake. So instead of what this company was doing before was they had a daily refresh of the data they operated on. Now they have real time continuous insights into the data coming in from their supply chain. So if there's a problem at 9 a.m., they can act on it at 10 a.m. And that's necessary in today's world as hyper dynamic it's becoming and the supply chains have to adapt. So that's what customers are able to do bringing the Databricks technology on top of GCP. What an amazing example, David. I love how we're working with customers. And one of the customer trends we are observing is the growing adoption of leveraging a simple and open approach to analytics and AI in one place on top of the data lake. Are you seeing any uh, similar patterns emerging? Absolutely. I think the openness is core. I mean, the, the stacks of old, they locked you in. And then every 10 years, you had to replatform. But you can't operate, if your whole business is running on data and AI, you can't fall into that trap again. So bringing data and AI into this common lake house that's based on standards, I mean, basically together, Databricks and Google have to earn your trust in business every year or else you can just take your data into another system, right? So that's, that's how we have aligned incentives with our customers. So let me take a, there's a US grocery delivery service, okay? And they were able to bring all of this data and Databricks has, a, has a, a specialized connector into BigQuery. So it can dig into BigQuery and push down queries and things and take all of that data and do machine learning directly on top of it. So when you add those performance capabilities and not having to move the data around, this delivery service was able to basically 10X their performance. The job that took, you know, 10 days took, no, 10 hours took one hour. They, specifically, they could improve the performance 750%. Now, since a lot of, of the, the, the consumption-based cost is on this performance, they were able to reduce their cost by $300,000 a year for the first use case they brought onto this platform. So their performance dramatically increased, their cost dramatically went down, but what's even more important is now they can do more. They can do things they couldn't have done before because of the limitations of the system. And the open source capabilities means they can plug all of their data engines into this, this same platform, the Databricks on top of Google Cloud. So those are the things they're able to do when they bring everything together into one system based on open standards. Uh, super impressive. And just another example of how we're partnering together with customers. On that note, thank you, David, for joining us today. Together, we are excited to deliver such a strong business value to customers. So any final thoughts? Yeah, I mean, first of all, thank you to the audience for being here, to Nicole and Dane for doing this with me. The thing I'm most excited about is that we've just scratched the surface. We're just beginning. So everything we see customers doing, we see industries transformed across you know, every kind of capabilities we see. That's just maybe 1% of what's possible and what will be happening in the next bunch of years as we bring the technology of Databricks together with the technology of Google Cloud and this open system to do data and AI together. So I'm just super excited to hear the rest of the content today and to see what these customers do over the next bunch of years. This is awesome. Thank you, David. Uh, thank you, Nicole. And thank you for joining the session today uh, on the Data Cloud Summit. I'm so excited about what we've discussed about the open data cloud on Databricks, so many great things that we're doing together. And it's just great to see the synergy between the two companies. So once again, uh, thank you again, and we'll see you next time.